Hello, today we are going to focus on the 80s broadcast as part as the fourth chapter of the course, Flight Safety, Domaine 4, Sécurité des vols. First, we are going to explain what the 80s broadcast is, then we are going to hear an example before decoding the message. In the end, you'll be able to test your knowledge with the usual questions. Hello, so what is the 80s broadcast? The Automatic Terminal Information Service broadcast, also known as 80s, gives information about the weather, time, active runways, or notice to airmen, also known as NOTAMs, warning pilots of potential hazards in the area. This information is needed by the pilots as they approach busy airports or their immediate areas. Pilots usually listen to the automatic message before contacting their local control unit to avoid congestion on the radio frequency. The ATIS report reduces the workload for controllers and it enhances safety in air traffic. The ATIS report is an audio recorded by air traffic controllers. It is updated regularly throughout the day, usually every hour. The first message of the day is identified by the letter A for alpha. The regular updates throughout the day are designated by the next letter in the aeronautical alphabet, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and so on. The ATIS is broadcast on a VHF radio frequency which varies depending on the area. It is emitted by the tower. The radio frequency for the ATIS is indicated in the visual approach chart. As you can see in our document here, the ATIS is mentioned here. In Montpellier, the radio frequency for the ATIS is 124.12 MHz. It is also available by telephone. In France, the ATIS broadcast is recorded in English and in French. Here's an example of an ATIS broadcast. Good day, this is Montpellier Information, Kilo, Wicked at 1630 Zulu time. Our NP approach, 1 to left. When we use 1 to left, 1 to right. Condition level 6 to 0. Wind 170 degrees, 1 0 knots. Ceiling and visibility OK. Temperature 1 4, dew point minor. Quebec number hotel 1 0 2 7. Inform Montpellier, first contact at your receipt. Kilo. In this example, you find information about the airfield, Montpellier, the latter designation for the update, Kilo, and the time of the update, 4.30 in the afternoon, the runways in use, the transition level, 6.0, weather information, wind, temperature, visibility, dew point, the QNH or sea pressure level, 1027. Pilots approaching or departing Montpellier Airport are advised to mention they have received and taken the ATIS broadcast into account when contacting their air traffic controllers. To be able to fully understand and decode the 80s broadcast, we have to know the aviation alphabet or standard phonetic alphabet, which you can see here in the document on your left. To avoid mistakes or misunderstanding on the radio frequency, some words, here numbers, are pronounced differently. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1000. In our example of the report, we clearly hear 9 when the air traffic controller mentions the dew point. We also have to know some expressions and abbreviations referring, for example, to the weather forecast. Here, the abbreviations are used to describe the cloud cover or the visibility going from NSC, no significant cloud or sky clear, to Cavoke when the visibility is over 10 kilometers. Let's analyze the information given in the Kilo broadcast. 
In our broadcast, the air traffic controller refers to RNP approach 1 to left. The required navigation performance approach allows a very precise flight path for aircrafts equipped with monitoring and alerting instruments. The RNP approach reduces noise, greenhouse gas emissions and improves traffic. In Montpellier, the runway 1 to left is open to this navigation system. Note that other systems, ILS or VFR systems, can also be stated in a native broadcast. The other information given is Zulu time. Usually UTC, Universal Time Coordinated, is used in aviation. For each letter of the aviation alphabet, there's a time zone. For example, the alpha time zone corresponds to UTC plus one hour. The letter Z, or Zulu time, corresponds to UTC plus zero, hence UTC. In France, in winter, local time is UTC plus one. In summer, local time is UTC plus two. Let's now talk about the transition level. In our broadcast, the transition level 60 is the lowest flight level. When he reaches 6,000 feet, the transition level, the pilot has to set the altimeter according to the QNH of the airport during landing. During takeoff, when he reaches 6,000 feet, the pilot has to set the altimeter to 1,013.25 hectopascals. In our broadcast, the QNH, or sea pressure level, of the airport is given 1027, 1027 hectopascals. Other information is also given about the weather, wind speed and direction, ceiling and visibility, the local temperature and dew point. The dew point is the temperature at which air reaches a state of water saturation if water vapor and air pressure remain constant. When air reaches the saturation point and temperature and dew point are close, rain, fog, low clouds are likely to form, so the pilot may expect changes in the weather. When was the 80s broadcast born? As from the 1950s, tower control frequencies were experimenting congestion as air traffic was on the rise. Air traffic controllers spent a lot of time repeating the same information over and over again on the radio. So recording a message containing this information seemed a great solution. By 1968, 60 airports were using ATIS reports. In 1974, the International Civil Aviation Organization formalized its international use. Let's sum that up. The 80s broadcast is a message recorded by air traffic controllers to avoid congestion on radio frequencies. It is key for flight safety. It is updated throughout the day, allowing pilots to have accurate information before landing or takeoff. The message contains information about the airfield, runways in use, the weather or the QNH. It is available by VHF or telephone as indicated in the pilot's visual approach chart. Now it's your time to shine. Can you answer these questions? Que signifie le SIG? UTC. Uniform Tango Charlie. Universal Time Convention. Universal Time Coordinated. Universe Time Chart. Of course, the answer is C. Universal Time Coordinated. Un message de la tour vous prévient d'un danger. Il comprend le mot gust. Cela concerne A. Des vols d'oiseaux B. Une tempête de poussière C. Des rafales de vent, D. Des, des précipitations. La réponse, évidemment, C. Des rafales de vent.
Que comprenez-vous dans ce message concernant une piste Snow removal is in progress, runway 17. A. La piste 17 est en cours de déneigement. B. Le déneigement de la piste 17 a fait des progrès. C. La neige a progressé sa couverture sur la piste 17. D. La piste 17 est à présent déneigée. La réponse, évidemment. A. La piste 17 est en cours de déneigement. To be in progress est en cours de. Dans un message, le sigle CAVOK signifie A. Capacity and visibility OK. B. Ceiling and visibility OK. C. Capacity and view OK. D. Cloud and view OK. La réponse évidemment, ceiling and visibility OK, CAV OK. For more information on the 80s broadcast, you can watch those videos. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best of luck and see you soon on the channel.